imagine you are making a hard surface model and for this model you have to make multiple screws with different types of screw heads now there are two ways to handle this problem you could either model each screw or clone them you know by making one and then use it like this or you could create a screw brush like this one and use these brushes forever you know for your next project and the the one that comes after next and next and so on so if you prefer the second way this is the right video for you i'm going to teach you how to make this brush this screw brush over here and i'm going also going to teach you how to create the icon for it so it's going to be fun so let's just jump right in all right so in order to create the screw head we will add a sphere and validate it it's not high enough the poly count so let's just subdivide it a few more times i think it's good enough now we need a hemisphere for the screw head so to create that we're gonna use the trim tool select the trim tool and make sure you're selecting the rectangle one also it's very important that you're in the orthographic front view because if you go to the perspective view it will get distorted and we don't want that so we are in the orthographic view i'm selecting the trim tool and it's the rectangle selection i'm gonna trim the lower half like this cool now let's create the screwdriver slot like this we'll also trim this uh, like so cool now let's take a look at it from the top view i think it looks good enough now let's create the lower half so we're gonna add a box and validate it let's just use the gizmo tool to bring it down oh sorry it's from the top view let's undo and go to the front view and we'll bring it down and let's make sure it's under the hemisphere there's a gap significant gap between these two it's not touching the hemisphere or the screw head let's scale it up the cube even more like so and there is a significant gap you will know why it's important to keep it like this so let's go to the top view again I think our screw model is ready so now we need to create the height map so to create that height map let's go to the debug option which is right next to the range icon if you can't find it that's because your interface option is on if you click on the interface and go to the right you will see this bug icon click on this debug and under render you will find height map let's check the box and it's completely dark well don't panic because we can easily fix it so go to this aperture icon over here click on it and turn the post process on now here you see the tone mapping option check this box and it's visible make sure it's in the none option but for now let's keep it the way it is and select the cube we need to push it down so select the gizmo click on this gizmo icon over here and just play around with this number under under the translation and i'm going in the minus direction minus 1.66 and it's completely dark just the way we want it to be okay now let's zoom it in a bit so to create the alpha map we need to render it as a square image so we will select the square and export it uh, i'm gonna call it new screw head very you know very new screw head 
like this and save now this is not the final alpha yet you need to edit it for that I'm gonna go and open infinite painter you can use use you know procreate or any program you like so I'm gonna go to the infinite painter and open this one okay perfect now now under the layer I'm gonna just duplicate it just in case I mess up you know so duplicate now I'm gonna select the level option you can find this level option in Photoshop or any other pretty much every, every photo editing software you know offers this one so using the curve to bring it down like this it's creating a good roundness about that much is good in my opinion so now I'm gonna blur it a little bit I'm gonna select the blur and let's just use very little blur like this like this and apply it so this is the before editing this is after editing that's what we need let's export it as let's just call it be lazy and call it project for now and export it cool let's go back to nomad turn the post process off turn the height map off and let's also hide the sphere or the screw head turn the grid off and we will use this cube for testing our alpha so we need to subdivide it a few more times like this cool now let's go to the brush icon and find the stamp brush under stamp brush go to the pencil icon and find the alpha click on this square and import the last one you created which will be over here under image and infinite painter and this is the last one I created cool and under the fall off let's go with uh, maybe something round like this one under preset so with that ready let's increase the intensity of the brush all the way up let's take it and the brush size is uh, a little bigger yeah I will turn the symmetry off and voila we have our screw brush isn't it awesome so now I said we have our screw brush but we don't really have our screw brush not yet so we need to create the screw brush by cloning so let's clone this brush and call it screw brush like this make sure you save it otherwise you will lose it next time you open your new project all right so now we will create the icon for the brush we just made which is a screw one brush right for that we need to go to a photo editing software or app I'm gonna go to infinite painter create a new canvas and from preset I'm gonna choose a square canvas like this and from that I'm gonna go to the select option and select the circle selection and draw a circle right in the middle of the canvas I'm just eyeballing it, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect and accept it and then I'm go going to select a pattern and under pattern I'm gonna choose radial and draw 
like this for the outside color I'm gonna choose a dark color and for the inside color I'm gonna choose something like this yes something like this and then I'm gonna clear the selection this is the background for the icon and on top of this I'm gonna add a new layer and select the circle selection tool again and draw a circle this time a tiny one and change the selection to rectangle and change the add to negative create a hemisphere over here and then I'm gonna select the rectangle selection tool again and this time add turn on the add and draw the lower part of the screw icon like this I'm gonna select it again yet another time and turn it to negative and create this screw slot and <clears throat> now with a thick brush like uh, this hard round brush over here and with a size the big size like 381 or so I'm gonna paint it like this now our logo is almost ready I'm gonna clear the selection choose the line tool decrease the brush size like this and draw like this three times okay it's not really that thick I need to undo let's undo and increase the brush size a bit more and then like this like this and like this perfect change the background color to black and we're almost done now we need to just save the project and export it as PNG like this and then inside nomad all you have to do is click the brush over here and you know go to this icon click on it and all you have to do is find the new icon I, I'm gonna choose the one I previously created this one and it changed the icon perfect so that's how basically you create a new icon for your brush newly created brush so following the same method I created these brushes this another screw brush this knurling effect brush this stitch brush and this crack brush so let me know in the comment if you want me to make you know separate videos on how to create them and as always thank you for watching